Let's go to CTV's Andy Bergeron Oliver, who is uh, with the Chief of the Defense Staff, General Wayne Eyre. Annie. Hello, General Ayer. Thank you very much for joining us here today. You know, Remembrance Day is an opportunity to remember the sacrifice of Canadian soldiers throughout the years. And I'm wondering, as you're here today, who are you thinking about? So, as you said, this is an opportunity to remember the sacrifices. And, and for me, it's deeply personal as I think about all those who served and fell, uh, colleagues, uh, individuals that, uh, that I knew that were under my command. Uh, whether in operations or, or on training. So it is a, a deeply, deeply personal day. You know, I also think about my, uh, my relatives who served in the First and Second World War and were, uh, were killed over in, in Europe as well. And are those the people that you were thinking about during the lament, which you just mentioned, is your, your favorite part of today's ceremony? Absolutely. It's an opportunity to reflect, reflect on past wars, reflect on those who we knew, but also reflect on the future uh, and the challenges that our world and our country and our armed forces are facing. Uh, right now, there are troops who are stationed all around the world, uh, you know, helping train Ukrainian soldiers, for example, but yet the defense budget is being cut. And what kind of a message do you think that that sends to our soldiers as well as to many of our allies who feel that internationally Canada is not pulling its weight? Well, there is deep concern about that, uh, but as soldiers, we have to make do with what we have and, uh, and work to get the job done. Uh, but as the security situation in the world deteriorates around us, our job is to be as, as ready as we, uh, we can be with the resources that we have. For a lot of people right now, what's going on in the Middle East is uh, front and centre. There's a lot of talk about the need for a ceasefire. Do you think that there is a need for a ceasefire right now? And what role do you think, if any, Canadian peacekeepers could potentially play in the region? Well, that is a legitimate question, but uh, one more uh, more suitable for the policymakers. Our job is to uh, to be ready to respond and provide options to government. You know, right now we are well poised to help evacuate uh, Canadians and Canadian entitled personnel out of the region if uh, if that becomes necessary. Uh, but this is a situation that's fraught again with uncertainty. We have war in Europe, war in the Middle East, tension in uh, uh, in the in the Asia Pacific region. Um, so there is no shortage of, uh, of crises around the world for us to deal with. General Ayer, thank you very much for being here today. We'll give it back to you, Omar.